Okay, factor trinomials of the form, the same form here using the grouping method. Another way to factor trinomials of the form, this form, is to write them as equivalent four term polynomials. What does that mean? Don't worry about it right now. By, but by, by, and factor, by grouping. To factor, for example, let's just start with an example right away. Example, to factor x squared plus 8x. Remember, at this point, it's expected that you know how to factor out a, a trinomial. First, identify b. Here, who's b? Okay? As a coefficient of the x term, which is here, which in this case is the 8. And c as the last term for the trinomial of the form x squared plus bx and c. We will call c the key number. Right? So let me write... Let me give you some notes on, on, on that part there. So, here. If you notice that to identify B here, because if we, if we were to write the standard equation would be X squared plus BX plus C. Here, the B is the 8 and the C is the 15. We have identified them. Alright? Now, now that now that we have found the two integer whose product is the key number 15 because we could find that oh now and whose sum is 8 since the integers must have a positive product and a positive sum because we noticed that from here and from previous examples the only possible factors of 15 are what well the factors of 15 of 15 will be um one and 15 3 and 5 and the sum of the factors will be um, 1 and 15 will give me 16 3 and 5 will give me 15 I mean 3 plus 5 will give me 8 here and 1 plus 15 will give me 16 sorry about that so that's 8 so notice how I got 8 the middle term notice how I got 15 multiplying those same two terms so now We'll take the second row of the table, which is this one here. Is our table here? Second row of this table. All right. That contains the correct pair of integers 3 and 5, whose product is the key number 15, and whose sum is also b, which is equal to 8. All right. Express the middle term 8x, this 8x, as 3 plus 5. So let's go. We're now saying x squared plus 3x plus 5x plus 15. Now why are we doing this? Because this is a next method that we need to learn or which you may need to learn depending what problem you are doing. We'll decide which method to use. Unless otherwise stated which method to use, then you must use that particular method. So now, since you have this, this step here, Look at the first two terms. What's common in the first two terms? Remember, we, we, we have done that be before. Since the both of them have x, we pull out the x, open bracket, and we say x squared divided by x, x. 3x divided by, by x, that gives us 3. Now look at the second, at the third and fourth term. What do they have in common? Positive 5, so put plus 5 here. 5x divided by 5, that gives me x. And 15 divided by 5, that gives me 3. Now what do they both have in common? x plus 3, x plus 3. So therefore I put now x plus 3, open close bracket, x plus 5. After yeah. I've taken out the x plus 3, then I am, I am only left with x plus 5, so that comes down there. And that's our solution. So let us go over this problem here. You've been given a problem where you have this. You need to identify who's B and who's C. Since we have identified that C is the product of two numbers and b is the sum of those same two numbers there which you multiply then we look at the factors of that particular value so we found that it was 15 and so we get 3 and 5 which makes 8 also so we work with that and we start to separate it and break it down here so 8 is actually 3 plus 5x and then we find the common term here and then likewise with the second with the third and the fourth term we find the common term which is 5 then put x plus 3 as the first term and x plus 5 as the second term. 
or we could put this first one at the front and this at the back it doesn't make any difference still works out to the same solution all right so um this is how we work this out all right so let's go with a few more examples suppose we have factor by grouping a factor by grouping means you will need to do this method you cannot do any other method if you if you're doing the other method you will not get your your point so and therefore you need to do this method you need to learn this method in particular our strategy will express the middle term here a this single a here uh, of the trinomial as a difference of two carefully chosen item terms we want to produce an equivalent for for term polynomial that can be factored by grouping that's what we want since this trinomial is equal this is also equal to say um a squared plus 1 a minus 20 we identify that b is actually 1 and c equals negative 20. We must find two integers whose product is negative 20 and whose sum is 1. Alright, so key point. Product must equal negative 20 and the sum must be 1. Since the integers must have a negative product, their signs must be different. So you need to take note of it. Since the, this is negative, the integers need to be two different signs. So let's see, factors of 20, and not just 20, negative 20. 1 times negative 20, 2 times negative 10, 4 times negative 5, um, 20 times negative 1, um, 10 times negative 2, 5 times negative 4. Now there is some, this would give us negative 19. This would give us negative 8, this would give us negative 1, this would give us 19, this would give us 8, and this would give us 1. So which one then give us the sum of 1 and a product of negative 20? The last row. So therefore we can come and put here a squared plus 5a minus 4a minus 20. Okay, that's the combination that we have identified. So now we factor what's common here, which is a, and this becomes a squared divided by a, a, 5a divided by a, 5. Now here, keep this sign first, negative 4. Negative 4, a divided by negative 4, positive a. Negative 20 divided by a negative 4, positive 5. Notice what we have in common now, a plus 5, a plus 5. So we have a plus 5 and a minus five and uh, minus four and that's our solution okay so it's not that complicated just that we have to take in piece by piece all right um so um now a question i believe that my that may arise is that well can't we put the a minus four first and a plus five second still works out or we could put the negative 4a here and positive 5a here. It will still work out. Okay? So does not, that should not be a problem for, for us to deal with. So let's go to our next example. Factor by grouping. And we have x squared minus 4xy minus 5y squared okay our strategy is to usually express the middle, the middle term in this case the middle term here is negative 4y of the trinomial as a sum of two carefully chosen items we want to produce an equivalent four term polynomial that can be faced factored by grouping so the only way i could get at that that negative 5 is as follows so you come here and you put factors of negative 5 will be negative 5 times 1 or 
5 times negative 1. And the sum here will be negative 4, and here will be positive 4. So this is the best combination. So now we work it out. So we put here x squared minus, that's 5xy, because that's the middle term xy, plus xy minus 5y squared. Okay? So now we will look at the first two terms and factor what's common with them. They both have x. So we take out the x and we end up with x, open bracket, x squared divided by x, that gives us x. And then negative 5, bring, bring down that negative. Negative 5xy divided by x gives us 5y. Alright? Now, what do this third and fourth term have in common? y. Keep that sign, which is positive y. And so xy divided by y gives me x. Negative 5y squared divided by y will give me negative 5y. Now notice here, they both have this term common. So the, last, so the next thing will be x minus 5y, open close bracket, x plus y, which is this term plus this term give us this last term. Okay, so let's go over this one here. When we are factoring problems of this form here, which look, may be looking slightly different, but it's not the same, but it's not different, just letters that are popping up there. We look at the factors of this last value. That's a negative 5. The only way I can get a negative 5 if I multiply two numbers is that if I say negative 5 times positive 1 or positive 5 times negative 1, I get a negative 5. When I add them, the only way I could get a negative 4 is that if I get negative 5 and 1, that gives me a negative 4. I do not need this combination here because that is going to not going to give me the middle term, which I want, a negative 4. So therefore, I put this combination inside here, but these terms will have x, y because that those are the variables for the middle term. Okay? So that's how we work these problems here. Um, Factor by, by, by grouping. Let's go to our next step of factoring by grouping now. We have factor by grouping. Factor by grouping. And I give you 2x cubed minus 20x squared plus 18x. Okay, didn't catch on the screen. There is the problem. So our strategy is that we're going to factor out the GCF, 2x. Why 2x are we going to factor it out? Because everyone have a 2x inside of it. That's the GCF. So let's do that. Factor out the 2x. We end up with 2x, open bracket. This is x. And then here we end up with 10x. And we end up here with 9. Where is it? x, x squared here. Okay, so that's how we get that. So notice, we factor, we factor out the 2x from all of the three terms, so that we end up with this. Now, concentrate only on the middle term, nothing more. Just at the middle term, worry about right now. So we will take the middle term now and find the factors of 9. Factors of 9, 9 are 1 and 9, 3 and 3. And then the sum of the factors with this will give us 10. And this will give us 6. So the only way I could get a positive 9 is that if I say a negative 1 times a negative 9, that's a positive 9. And so when we add them, we get a negative 10. So that's our best combination. So we continue with the next step. 2x, I put here x squared and negative x, negative 9, x, positive 9. Okay? Negative x plus a negative 9x give me a negative 10x. So 2x now. Went up here now. What's common here? x. So we put here x. x minus 1. What's common here? Negative 9. So we put here x minus 1. Alright? Now, don't, for, don't worry about this piece here, this, this 2. Just leave the 2x outside. So we continue with the next step. I work with this inside piece. We end up with x minus 1 times x minus 9. And we finish with our problem. And that's our solution. So let's go over it again. You will find the factors of 18. But before you do that, 
I mean, you factor you factor out the GCF, which is two two x. So therefore, the, that reduces all of the x's all over the place and the numbers. Okay. Having done that, now this looks like the problems which we have been doing before. So you factor, so you work out this term, this this trinomial inside, as if you only had that trinomial by itself. But don't forget about what you have factored out before. That needs to be kept in there. Alright? And that's how you solve the particular problem there.